Hey guys, Evan here with The Professional Amateur, and today we're going to talk about how to install LUTs and color grade your footage in Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get started. Color correcting and color grading your footage in Final Cut Pro 10 can seem extremely daunting at first, but I'm confident that after watching this video you'll be well on your way to editing some epic footage. Okay, so let's get started. First, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna open up our effects browser. So uh, go ahead and hit Command-5. Now we're gonna wanna open up the inspector. Go ahead and hit Command-4. Okay, now, uh, Final Cut Pro 10 does not have a built-in LUT utility, so you're gonna have to download one from the internet. Uh, there are a number of options. There's some free options as well as some, uh, some options you need to pay for. I've chosen to pay for mine. It's called Color Finale Pro. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do now is you're gonna wanna drag over the LUT utility into your clip. Okay, now, what you'll notice here is in your inspector, you'll see the effect pop up here. So go ahead and open the controls for this. Okay, now, for us to do any sort of color correction, basic color correction and grading, you're gonna need to have your video scope showing. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna click show video scopes. Now, uh, this came up with the uh, RGB parade, but if you wanna change this, you're gonna have your selections right here. So now, your basic color correction is gonna consist of this color, these color wheels here. So you can use the color wheels, or I'm gonna go ahead and choose to use a dropper because it's gonna be a quicker option. So you're gonna select your highlights, and you're gonna find the brightest area you can find. You're gonna, you're gonna hit that. You're gonna go over here to your lift, you're gonna find the darkest part of your image. Uh, right there looks about right. Okay, now you can see here that it's, it's changed my highs and my lows. The second thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually uh, fix the exposure. So you can see here that the highlights are a little bit clipped and there's a little bit of clipping here in the shadows as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. So I'm gonna pull down my highlights a bit and I'm going to bring up those shadows a bit. Okay, now. This is the basic color correction. We're good to go. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast to that image. I'm gonna give a little bit more punch. So I'm gonna put my, put my mark here. I'm gonna bring down the midtones here, just add a little bit of contrast. And I'm gonna bring it back up a little bit here. Okay, now here's your basic color grade. So now the next step is to add a style. So this is where the LUT comes in. So here I'm gonna add a LUT. LUTs are .cube files. They can be downloaded from the internet. Uh, you're going to need to install them into your computer before they can show up here in Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, in order to do that, you're gonna need to actually go into your movies folder, uh, into motion templates. Here you're gonna find effects, and then whatever your LUT utility is, is gonna be, there's gonna be a, a LUTs folder. You're gonna wanna drop your LUTs into this uh, mine's color finale, LUTs, and then I've loaded my individual LUTs here. So then, once that's loaded, uh, there's a LUT package that I like to use. It's by one of my favorite content creators, uh, Peter McKinnon. Uh, I just highlighted it PM. So I'm going to go down to his Kodak Killer style. Boom, there we are. It looks really good. Uh, it's just a little bit too saturated for me. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna pull that down to about 70. Okay, so that's my basic color correction and color grading. Now, the next tutorial is gonna cover how to actually copy attributes to other clips and also how to add an adjustment layer rather than having to go through these individually. That will include learning how to color match each clip uh, but what I really wanted to focus on this time was getting you up and running on how to actually color correct, uh, basic color grade, and then stylize your images. Just in review, I just wanted to go over our basic color correction is uh, here with the color wheels. That's where you're gonna actually be working with your RGB parade. Your second step is gonna be controlling your exposure. That way you're gonna get in between the 100 and the zero, and then getting your contrast correct. The second step is gonna be adding a little bit of style or a little bit of contrast with your curves here, your master curve layer. And if you're, 
if your white balance was really off, this is where you're going to really want to start to employ these individual uh, color curves. And then the final step, of course, is to add your stylistic LUT. Hey guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. If you like content like this and you want to see more, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the description below. I'm happy to answer them. And don't forget to smash that like button. We'll see you next time. Bye.